Hello, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my little channel. So I'm still in Oxford, house and cat sitting. If I can find a cat, I will grab him and show you one. Wait a sec. Oh, oh I can say hello. 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 This is Matilda. Good girl. Love you, Matilda. You're a good girl, Tiltils. <laughs> She's the one that doesn't actually like being picked up. She's half Maine Coon and she's the cuddliest thing when she hops onto your lap when she's in the mood. Anyway, I haven't marked my lipstick have I? Nope. <laughs> I just put on lipstick for the first time in a week. So I've done a little Primark shop today. Oh my god I've got cat hair in my mouth. Excuse me. It's keeping it real as I always do. Done a teeny tiny Primark shop. So as I've said in my little community post, it's nothing to get excited about. It's not clothing, it's not shoes, it's not homeware. It had to be light. I wanted a few bits and it had to be light because obviously I'm not meant to carry more than five kilograms, two kilograms, nine kilograms, something like that in the kilograms. So I thought, keep it light. I want a few beauty bits. I need a couple of bits of makeup because... I came to Oxford, ironically, to keep my bag load really light, to keep the weight down. I came with no makeup or beauty or anything at all. And I thought, I'll grab a few bits from Primark and I'll show up my haul. I also got a dog coat. Anyway, before I get started, oh my God, I've just said anyway. I was trying to erase that from the old vocab, but it is what it is. Obviously one of my favorite words. As imaginative and creative as I am as an English tutor, <laughs> so I have a I did look up some jokes because I thought I really fancied a joke today but I couldn't find any that I liked or that I felt were appropriate but I thought I found a really good put down or rejection in Shakespearean bard speak do 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 oh yeah so if someone is a real pain in the ass, probably that bloke who just won't take no for an answer or the lady that won't take no for an answer whatever that um human who just will not leave you alone you go you say something like i do desire we may be better strangers and there's another one that's very rude but something about cheese and virginity i'm not gonna go into that something like virginity breeds might much like a cheese I suppose that's what the horrible bloke would say to the girl who's saving herself, whatever. And, and then, but then she can go, I do desire we be better strangers. Nope, I do desire we may, we may be better strangers. So get lost. Piss off. I'd rather you were a stranger to me than someone familiar. <laughs> I'm not that rude. But then again, I don't really have people ask me out for a date. So it's all fine. I, I hope you will never have to use that. So my quote for today, which I think is so lovely, it's it can be taken in different context to suit the time and the place, but just one line of it is, to me, fair friend, you never can be old. I was just checking because I was so worried I get two words run the wrong way. So the full quote is, to me, fair friend, you never can be old. For as you were when first your eye I eyed, such seems your beauty still. And then it goes on and on about three years have passed, these things have happened, but you don't change. So in some ways you can interpret it as someone is so beautiful to you, inside and out, they will never age. And you that you have that memory of their face, you never see them again, or you age together you just remember how you were so you think of an old couple who met at 19 and are together until they pass you know hands together and fingers interwoven at the age of 90 though that's the memory they have of each other when they were young and beautiful and to each other they're beautiful inside now as many people are anyway but also it can be interpreted as a beautiful memory something that never ages in your mind it can be of a person, an animal, a place. I just thought it was rather lovely to get started with. I mean, I always say to, about my dog, if anything were to happen to her, I remember her in her prime, you know, frolicking through the meadows, bouncing all over the place and happy and, 
you know, in the snow. And, you know, that's why I choose to remember her. She is still with us, don't worry. And I hope for many years to come because, good segue, the first item of actually changed order. I'm also going to start with the beauty bits I put my face. But I will show you, try not to laugh, my dog, Daisy, is a girly girl. Okay, she's very feminine, very ladylike. But <laughs> she doesn't really like wearing coats in the winter. And my mother often takes her to her horse field. Her horse field, her field the horse lives in. It's not her field, but it's her horse. Where am I going with this? Anyway, and it gets very cold. And Daisy either will sit in the car when she's tired or she'll sit in the stable. And it gets very chilly. And although she's a very hairy dog, she's very shaggy and furry and fluffy, she gets cold. And I'm sorry, but I couldn't resist this. And... No, don't come at me. I know. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, how cute is that? You can imagine her going <coughs> along. And I bought my bits and bobs. I was on my way out. Actually, it wasn't. I asked where the homeware bit was. I went upstairs. I was doing a little walk around video as well. And I just saw these suddenly pop out in the Christmas section. And I thought of those little dresses that little girls wear, like little like fairy with angel wings. And I thought... I've never wanted a little girl, but if I did have a little girl, I would want her to dress up like a fairy, because how adorable is that? And I thought, not just next best thing, but I thought, a canine equivalent. It was nine quid, so don't get excited, it wasn't six quid, you're looking upside down, it was nine, nine quid. And I don't know if it'll fit her. All they had was small and medium, and if I look closely, there's a picture of a chihuahua, like an outline of a chihuahua showing you the sizes and she's a small dog but she's very curvaceous in girth her tummy and I don't know if it'll fit so if it doesn't fit her it'll fit my mum's dog but I don't think a boy dog would probably want to wear that we well, might I don't know it might look great but if it doesn't fit either of them I will get a refund and I will purchase another pair of slippers or dressing gown for one of my house sits there, I've <laughs> got that out of the way. The next thing, and I wasn't able to segue here, if you look at my face, look at my face, look at my eyes and the eyes. No, honestly, I sound drunk, don't I? I really have not drunk anything since I've been here at all. But I came, as I've told you, with no makeup, no beauty stuff, literally a toothbrush. I even forgot toothpaste. And thank goodness they had it and they said, help yourself and all that jazz, which I did to the toothpaste. And I thought I'd buy a couple of bits at the old Primarco. So I bought a concealer and a lippy and as you can see I've used concealer as a sort of in between a tinted moisturizer and a foundation and it's it I don't know I don't it hasn't made much difference you can still see the bag as wires and circles but it's just like balance me out a bit then I got a lippy and I thought I'd just put a little bit on the lips as you do obviously and then a tiny bit on the cheeks and I don't know I look awake which is a pro as a plus that's a pro that's a good start, isn't it? And for the price, you can't really go wrong. It's got hair all over it. How lovely. Cat or human? I don't know. So for 2 50 I got this cool beige concealer. I have obviously opened it because I've got a bit of my face, as I've explained. But for 2 50 I've got one of those um, applicators. And it's... I'm not going to lie and go, wow, it's like a wonder product, a dupe for something. It's absolutely fine for 250 You obviously don't get much in there, so you can't really use it as a foundation more than once or twice, obviously. Oh, I've got hair in my mouth again. I've got cat hairs everywhere, They're coming in and out of my ears. But Cool Beige 250 you can't really go wrong. And the lippies, I think the lippies are such a bargain. I nearly bought a lip um, gloss oil thing again, because I love them. They're amazing. And they feel so good in your lips and really moisturising and nourishing, all that jazz. But then I saw this lippy and I thought, I've got about five that are really similar. <laughs> but I thought, I haven't got this one. And this one is Rosewood Mauve. Mauve, if you're American or Canadian. And it is just, as you can probably see my lips, similar to my lip colour, because I've got quite red lips. It's just a, a pinky, brownie, reddy... <laughs> How many adjectives can I get in there? Rose. It's basically a deep rose. A very natural rose. And there it is. And I think it's very similar personally to the colour of my lips. 
I, when I was younger, I used to really want pale pink lips, like the cool girls. Just put on a clear lip gloss and they just have nice, glossy, pale pink lips. But then I put I put sort of a nude on my lips. I put a pale pink. It doesn't really suit me, but it's such a nice colour. But I tend to stick more natural sort of rose and reddy brown and reddy rose. <gasps> so that was 90p, as you probably know. So I've only got a few more eyes. Look how batty this bag is. Look at that. And I haven't really been anywhere. I've literally walked through the streets to get to the bus. Got on the bus to Oxford Town Centre, about 15 minutes away. And then walked around Primarco, got a few bits. I just walked around the street for a few minutes, not kidding. Got back on the bus and came back. I don't know why it's so battered. Unless... Oh, do you want to come on camera? Wait, I've got another cat. Come here. Come here, darling. Oh, he comes on camera. Oh, look, I've got to Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Look, you're on camera, darling. You're beautiful. You're a Burman, aren't you? Gorgeous. This one actually went for me. If you look my cheek, close up, she actually scratched me. <laughs> you darling. But not her fault, really. To be fair, the first day I met her, I, I was cuddling her and she was so friendly. She was sniffing me and I kissed her all over her head. And suddenly she stared at me like this intently. And she went, ah, like that. So, <laughs> my fault, I guess. Anyway, next. Next bits and bobs. Nothing else really here, to be honest. Not much. I thought this was a real bargain. So this is After Sun Body Sorbet Hydrating, soothing and cooling with hy hyaluronic acid and shea butter coconut fragranced. So it's basically, it's basically a nice moisturiser, an After Sun moisturiser. Not that I ever get the sun. I can't bear being in the sun. I can't bear the heat of me. I can't bear just being the presence of the sun. I sound so dramatic, but that's how I feel. So I hide from the sun, but so oh, I've got after sun, but I need a moisturizer. And ironically, I haven't even opened it. Look, I haven't even opened it, but I, I like the coloring. Doesn't it go really well with this? Do they go really well together? Wouldn't that be a nice present? Obviously that wouldn't be for the dog, be for the human, that'd be for the dog, but <laughs> you bonkers, aren't I? But this was reduced from four quid down to one quid. So I thought, even if I don't actually take it with me, because I'm now thinking it's quite heavy, I don't think I want to take it on the train. I might actually leave it for them as a present, in the, leave it in their bathroom. God, I'm so weird. But I bought it because I wanted a good moisturiser, good body butter kind of thing. Ended up just sticking with my Elizabeth Arden 8 Owl Cream. Oh, another cat just went by. I've already shown you. Oh, their brother just walked by. I could have shown him as well. Rupert. So cute. Absolutely gorgeous. I could kidnap any of these cats. I won't because they're a family and they're very happy here and they're very loved, but they're so sweet. Anyway, that moisturiser, haven't used. I've just stuck with my Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream, which I've just slathered on, chucked on. I chucked on the ends of my hair the other day, even though it's a right mess. I put dry shampoo in as well. It probably looks really grey. But um, I'm trying not to leave it to leave it for not too long but I don't want to wash my hair like every two or three days like at once I just can't be bothered I really can't be asked also I don't know if you can see I've had a haircut I it's not I'm not really showing off and it's um at its best but it was about there and she cut off well what they call a hairdresser's inch yeah a hairdresser's inch is like that an inch for me is I can just imagine people at Lisa going family friendly. Yes, this is family friendly, so don't worry. <laughs> but honestly, she cut off about that much, and I said that much, and I could see her cutting, and I was like, oh, I know it needs a cut, but it just feels so drastic, and my hair grows so slowly. But then again, I have got roots, so it obviously is growing up to a point, isn't it? But I want any anyone who's got any ideas for my hair the next stage, please chuck it in the comments. I'm I'm within three choices. I'm thinking, do I stay this sort of colour, you know, sort of a warm honey blonde, or do I go auburn, or do I go a light brown with a balayage? That's what the hairdresser suggested to me. I said, I really want hair like yours. She had like this amazing, ashy, cool, vanilla toned hair, and it was like short and slightly spiky. But then she wore like a Victorian style dress laced up here and lots of eye makeup. Very cool. Like a real mix of mix of styles and eras and influences. Absolutely amazing. Like it's like rock chick, but 
classical rock, classical rock. If that is a style, I don't know. But she said to me, you can't really go blonde, you can't really put all blonde in, it is breaking, it's very damaged, you've got a lot of warmth, you'd have to be very drastic, bleach the heck out of it and then put toner on. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so any, if you have any ideas for my hair, let me know because I want to do something. Before I go back to work, I want to do something. We'll see. I might have a bit of Botox before I go back to work as well to celebrate going back to work. <laughs> anyway, just the last, a few final items. My gosh, that I didn't really get much actually. It's just four more teeny tiny items. I'm quite disappointed as well. I'm sure you're expecting to see more and it really is small, but just remember, I'm going back on the train. I have to get three trains back to my delightful mother's house, which I'm staying at for another few days. Then I'm going off to Camberley, then Hampton Court, and then just outside London, Kingston. And I will probably get a taxi back. I'll probably go to Primark, get a haul, because I'm going to be at some place for quite a while. So I'll need clothing. I'll go with no clothing. Yeah, no clothing. I'll get. I'll go into town, stock up with Primark stuff, because I, I really do need stuff. I genuinely need some things. Buy them. <laughs> get the taxi back to the house. Get the taxi driver to carry things in. Give him a tip for that. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, got a new wardrobe from Primarco. Anyway, the last few items, they're very, very sensible, simple beauty things. I could just go like that for a thumbnail. Oh, that's a good thumbnail. <laughs> I have to think what the thumbnail will be. So, three masks. They're all Korean beauty. Illuminating priming sheet masks, 75p down from a quid. They're all, oh, hello. What are you doing? Charlotte's back. What are you doing, darling? You've got food. You had loads of treats as well. You've had all your nibbles and you've had your licky licks. No, it's not food, darling. <laughs> Might have a cat coming up and make she thinks I've got food. Then this one is... Is that guava? I don't know what that is. Well, it's a vitamin E sheet mask. Quid down to 75p. Then I've got a watermelon masque du hydron. Hydratante. If you're French or a French speaker, don't laugh. A watermelon sheet mask. I mean, I couldn't resist. There were loads of lovely masks, okay? Lots of coconutty ones. Ones that I thought were actually more appropriate for my skin, like moisturising, real deep nourishing moisturising and, you know, real care for your skin, not just cleansing and detoxifying. But they weren't sheet masks. They were little squares and they were all about 50p or 75p as well. But I want something you can actually put on and it really, so you can re-rub it in a bit and then pull it off. I hate it when you get like bits and clay and crap and it ends up going your hair and your nails and up your nostrils and oh, that's not for me. So those sheet masks, I think will do well, but I have to be very careful when I do them in front of my dog, who I'm going to see tonight, or my mother's dog or any of the cats because they're all a bit scared. They're quite, they're very sweet. They're very human. They, you know, if they don't recognize your face behind the mask for a moment, they're a bit freaked out. And if you're bonding with them, it's probably not the best, but someone you know well. So my dog, um, I mean, she knows it's me under there, but I have to think whether or not I'm going to put that on in front of her. You don't need to hear me rambling about that, do you? How, oh my God, we're getting nearly, nearly 20 minutes. Last but not least, I could not resist this. I might not even keep it though. I might give this as a present. I might be doing a giveaway as well. And I... I have a feeling I should be doing a giveaway. That's what I should be doing, isn't it? Keeping up with everything. And I've never done one, so I will be doing some sort of giveaway. But this Flumps lip oil, I could not resist. I actually have a lip oil or 10, but Flumps vanilla lip oils. Surely that's better than me eating Flumps. I mean, I can eat a whole blooming packet. I can open the packet, be stuffing me in my fook and gob in front of the TV in front of Nip Tuck, which is my new recommendation. So I thought that was lovely. Vanilla, lip oil, it's quite neat and dinky. I'll show you what it looks like. If I get the blooming thing out. Oh, I bet it smells good. Oh, that's delicious, it's so creamy. Should I put a bit on and ruin it? Can't really notice the difference, but it, oh, I'll never ruin the applicator. That is me. I can't give that away, can I, to anyone, so I'll have to buy another one. But I might do something else for a giveaway. I might do a scent. Don't know yet. Hold this space. So that's what it looks like. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I'm trying to keep on 20 minutes. Thank you very much for watching my video. 
I can't believe I've managed to do a 20 minute video with a few bits of random beauty things from Primark, a mini mini haul, you couldn't make it up. I've seen people doing a whole clothing vid for under 10 minutes, you could honestly, it's just bonkers. Anyway, last but not least, a couple of recommendations for you. Oh, thank you of YouTubers, what, what YouTube have I been watching this week? Um, she doesn't need a shout out, but HRH collection, oh my gosh, absolutely hilarious go over to her channel you probably know who she is she rants and raves about things she's into beauty and luxe and la and being tired of everything she's very inspired by ava gardner and all the sirens of the of the past and you go and look her up she's fabulous who else there must be someone else that i really like um loads of travel videos um jessica jane she does um travel around the world she left her job so Jessica Jane with a Y, J-A-Y-N-E, and um, you probably know Amy in a van. None of these people need a shout out. They're all doing very, very well, but I'm just letting you know what I've been watching. Also got back into Nip Tuck, probably told you that last time, Nip Tuck on Prime. I actually was going to buy the DVD to get me through my recovery. It's like the irony after having surgery, looking up something about surgery plastic surgery why would I do that to myself but oh it's fabulous it's so over the top it's by the writer of Gossip Girl or Glee something like that Ryan Murphy I believe so anyway watch that if you can give it a go it's really good fun thank you very very much for watching my little video that turned into be a bit of a long one again I do hope it uploads by 12 if it doesn't it's because it's a bit long so next time I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of Primark, my next video, and then I'm going to be getting some more hauls again, more perfume collections, and more travel. Watch the space. See you soon. Take care of yourselves and of each other. Bye.